Sussex faces terrible disaster after explosive fight with Netflix chiefs plus huge boycott for series. The Sussexes are at odds with Netflix and their own production team as they attempt to backtrack on what they show the public. The couple allegedly wants to cut chunks from the documentary, which they've been filming for more than a year now, but Netflix chiefs are standing by the Sussexes filmmakers who want to keep the content according to insiders. The Harkles are backed into a very tight corner because King Charles is now the monarch and Camilla is Queen Consort. I believe the Harkles are absolutely panicked since the Queen died because they knew what this means. They're desperately trying to go back and remove the trash talk, but it's too late. Both the book and Netflix productions are too far along. Plus, Netflix and the publishers would fight against removing juicy stuff that sells content. Harry and Meghan are having second thoughts on their own story, on their own project. According to another industry source, Harry and Meghan are panicked about trying to tone down even the most basic language, but it's their story from their own mouths. A source previously revealed how the Duke and Duchess of Sussex wanted to edit the show in the wake of Queen Elizabeth's death, as it's believed to include a number of truth bombs involving King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla, as well as Prince William and Kate Middleton. They've made significant requests to walk back content they themselves have provided, to the extent that some Netflix staff believe, if granted, it will effectively shelve the project indefinitely. The Netflix source said, Netflix is standing by the filmmakers. According to a new poll, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry should cancel their Netflix series. A total of 6,298 people responded with the overall response, gaining 88%. 5,543 people of votes cast being, yes, Meghan and Harry should cancel their Netflix series. A further 11%, or 694 people, said no, the series should go ahead, while 61 people said they didn't know. Many readers commented that the series should be cancelled. They should never have made it in the first place. One source claimed that the couple wants to downplay much of what they've said about King Charles III, Camilla Queen Consort, and the Prince and Princess of Wales. A Hollywood industry source told Page Six, a lot of conversations are happening, I hear that Harry and Meghan want the series to be held until next year. They want to stall. I wonder if the show could even be dead in the water at this point. Do Harry and Meghan just want to shelve this thing? A Netflix insider claimed, Netflix has been keen to have the show ready to stream for December. There's a lot of pressure on Netflix CEO Ted Sarandos, who has the relationship with Harry and Meghan to get this show finished. However, royal expert Neil Sean has claimed Netflix were behind the decision to delay the release, telling Fox Business in the US that there just isn't enough content yet. Earlier this week he claimed, On this docu-series, a very good source told me that the bottom line is that there just isn't enough content. You have the Invictus Games in the Netherlands, a bit of footage in New York, and that's it. But they're not allowed to use the footage from the Queen's State funeral, and you have a little bit from when they came over for the Platinum Jubilee. I understand why Netflix is wondering what they're going to do with it. It has nothing to do with claims that they're trying to cut unsavoury remarks about King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla. The memoirs have been signed off already for an expected autumn release, but the Duke, who's writing the book as part of a near £40 million three-titled deal, has asked to make some significant alterations. His request may be seen as a sign that he's ready to take a more conciliatory approach to the rest of the royal family, but could cause problems for his publishers.